Now, because of this, a DFL Unity event to launch the party's fall campaign took a controversial turn today. And Democratic leaders instead faced questions about embattled Attorney General candidate Keith Ellison. Pat Kessler joins us right now. So, Pat, what happened at the event? Well, pretty clear it's not going to go away anytime soon. DFL leaders are calling a press conference today. They wanted to show harmony after a bruising primary election. But if this is Democratic unity, I'd like to see what DFL dissension looks like. The post-election unity event to showcase the governor candidate was hijacked by someone who wasn't even there. DFL party chair Ken Martin peppered with questions about embattled attorney general candidate Keith Ellison. Here, what I would say is that DFL party takes uh, any allegation of domestic abuse seriously. It's a fluid situation. It's still developing. Ellison is accused by a former partner of physical and emotional abuse, allegations he repeatedly denied to WCCO television. Did you ever abuse her in any way? No. Physically, emotionally? No. Did you ever drag her off a bed by her feet? No, absolutely not. Ellison was the overwhelming winner of the DFL primary for the attorney general's spot on the ticket. At the top of the ticket, DFL governor candidate Tim Waltz. We take these allegations seriously. Um, I believe there's a process in place to start seeing where, uh, what's behind those allegations. I have not spoken to Congressman Ellison uh, since these came out, and what we're doing is focusing on our campaign. Ellison won the primary, but he must still seek the endorsement of the DFL Central Committee this weekend. And it's not a done deal. Uh, we believe that Keith Ellison uh, should answer the questions that have been posed to him, and he should address those questions head on. Well, that DFL Unity press conference featured one of the losing governor candidates, Aaron Murphy, but it did not feature Lori Swanson, who was not invited. We asked Swanson's campaign about that. And they sent us her election night statement. She congratulates Waltz and said he has her full support. So I think unity has a lot of work to do in the DFL party right now. It seems that way. Yep. All right. Thank you, Pat. You bet.